Number 12 from the 2016 New Higher Maths Paper 1. Here we go. Functions of functions, no fractions. We've got a linear one expression and a quadratic expression. And again, it says, find this composition of functions, but it gives you the result you're aiming towards, obviously to make it easier to mark part B. Well, that function is acting on g of x, and g of x produces 3 minus x. This function then takes this and does this to it. It takes it, squares it, and doubles it, takes away 4 times it, and then adds on 5. Now it's just a case of tidying that up. So multiplying out that bracket. Square the first, minus twice the product, square the last, I've got to multiply that out, so I'll just let this wait. I could have multiplied that out, I suppose, just now, but then it would just have been sitting waiting until I've multiplied this one out. So what's that? 18 minus 12x plus 2x squared, minus 12, but plus 4x plus 5. Rearrange it into a well-known phrase or saying, i.e. that one. 2x squared minus 12 plus 4 minus 8. Looking good so far. Last part, 18 take away 12 is 6, plus 5 is 11. There you go. Part B, express this in the form P bracket x plus 2, x plus q squared plus r. Complete the square in other words. Well, h of x was, I don't know why I'm writing it down again, just because it was a new part. Well, the first thing I want to do that is just work on the kernel. So I'll take out that 2 and that 11, that's a bit annoying as well, and just work on the x squared, and if I'm taking out 2, that drops to 4x. This is the thing I want to form into a square. This is the square I want to complete, and then I'll have two of them. And that quite simply would be using the pattern, it must be x to produce x squared, it must be minus 2, so that I've got double the product at minus 4, minus 4, and then, if it's minus 2, it must have been a plus 4 that would have taken. So that extra 8 will have to come off of the 11. So minus 11 minus 8. So that's going to be plus 3. And there it is.